Hello everyone, Carlos here for keyboard shortcut number 20, which is going to be about Control shift u which is pretty much about doing this. Okay, let me show you real quick to expand the formula bar. Now, you might think that may be so silly to, me, to be a keyboard shortcut, but actually it could be very useful in case you use the formula bar to evaluate long formulas, as it happens to me sometimes uh, in some stuff that I do for charts and stuff and to make them more interactive and all that. So for example, uh, say that, it do, for example, in this case, I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit, okay? And I do Control Shift U, okay? It expanded the formula, but actually it did it in a way, in a silly way. Maybe we can do uh, Control, actually, well, this one right here, okay. So you can see that it actually included it and it still maintains the formula because actually this cell maintains the formula that we actually put on the previous tutorial, okay? That we wanted to sort of give more uh, a more vertical format to the to the formula, okay? So, but you can see on top, maybe we can expand this and actually maybe we can get close to it. That if I click here, now it also highlights the, the ranges are also colored, but I want you to know something that actually when, ex when it expanded formula bar, it didn't do it uh, because some sort of uh, randomly. It actually did it because the last time I actually expanded the formula and I actually fixed it with my mouse, it actually went and I put it for to be just to show four lines. So for example, if I was to expand it now one more line in order to include the, the closing parentheses, now if I actually do back up here and actually close that, and if I were to control shift U and then again, control shift U the next time, it actually include that other line that I actually included it with my mouse, okay? So that's the only thing that you have to be sort of careful and that actually went so fast that I actually jump on the second point of this trick, which is this one right here. The small caveat is that actually it, it doesn't span automatically. You have to maybe fix it with the mouse up and down to see how lengthy the, the formula is. But I think it's very useful. I think the, the, the keyboard shortcut is useful because for example, say that you're dealing with a long formula, for example, this case, okay, that in, uh, again, you don't have to build formula like this. It's just that the client wanted to be in one place. They didn't want to check out helper columns, okay? They want to have one column, calculate the whole thing. So, okay, so then you proceed with this. And then, for example, let's say that we go right here where the formula is formatted, which is that one right here. Maybe we can close this and maybe we can actually hold that. Okay, so F2. Okay, perfect. Uh, maybe we just get right here. F2 again. Okay, so we're, we're good there, okay? So say if we were to press Control shift u for example, then over there, it just expanded four rows, pretty much, because you can say that this, for example, is one row right here. Then this is like row two, row three, and then row four. But then again, if we were to expand now the, this, okay, and we were to expand the whole thing all the way down, now, the cool thing is sort of you have a more dedicated area to understand the formula. Some people like me, if I see this, I will understand it because I'm sort of a scanning line by line and, and, and sort of understanding it. But because I have a dedicated area, maybe it's kind of it's kind of helpful for my eye or visually to process it. OK, now the bad thing about this is, for example, if I do control shift U, I can hide it again. That's OK. Maybe back up here. But if I do Control Shift U again, actually I'm just minimize this. Control Shift U. Now see it expanded all the way down. So say for example that maybe you had another formula that is not so long, it's smaller, and do Control Shift U, then that that happens. So it's still a use. I think it's a still useful keyboard shortcut in the sense that you have a dedicated area to analyze a formula, especially especially if it's long, but. For this case, it, it, you're gonna have to then again come with your key, with your mouse and fix it here, and then if you go back to the lengthy formula and do Shift Control U, well, it kind of did it automatically. But then again, it's not so that if I go back to the other one that is shorter again, look, and we do Control Shift U, and then here Control Shift U, then again, see, it doesn't remember that maybe it has to collapse all the way until the formula ends. Maybe Microsoft can fix this. But I think it's still a useful keyboard shortcut because um, to have a dedicated area to analyze a formula, I think it's pretty, pretty, pretty good. I think it could pay. I think it pays good, uh, good benefits and, and dividends. So I'll see you for the next keyboard shortcut number twenty-one. Thank you for watching.